in Hebrews 1.4, it's not speaking of him being made better than the angels. And you just think it's, well, he's positioned better than the angels, made in that sense. Read on to verse 5, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. We have to read these scriptures together in context. You know, people are going to want to separate that and say, oh no, that's future, that's when he's born of a woman. Well, why would, why would Paul in Hebrews jump all over the place like that? Keep it in context. Made so much better than the angels when he made the worlds. When God spoke, that's when Jesus came forth. As soon as God spoke, that was Jesus. The Word of God. To me, it's clear. That's when he came forth. That's when he came forth. And then verse 8, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. I'll, I'll back up and I'll get some more in a minute. But it says here, He is divine. <clears throat> unto the Son of God, the one who came forth from God, he said, Thy throne, O God. He calls Jesus God. Because He is our God. We have God the Father, we have God the Son. Two separate beings. Then we have uh, verse 6. And again, when He bringeth in the first begotten, into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. Again, that first begotten will translate into Greek. And it means firstborn in Greek. And it also means uh, first priority. And what some people would like you to believe is it just means one of the two things. Just first priority or precedent. But Jesus could only be that if he was first begotten as well. Remember when he talked, Paul talked about the giving of tithes. And he explained that when Levi was still in the loins of his father and even in Abraham that Jesus was before that. I am. So we see that Jesus had to take priority in first place by being first born to even be before the Levitical law. Paul's explaining of the Melchizedek priest being the first or better priesthood than the latter priesthood, which is the Levitical priesthood. It's important that the order of things, Jesus came first. It is important. So when we go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 8, It reads, I am the, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Now some, some say, well Jesus had no beginning, and that this verse proves it. What's the beginning letter in the alphabet? A, Alpha. 
Without the beginning letter, the alphabet doesn't begin. That's where it starts. I mean, come on, let's use some logic here. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning. Jesus began with the Father. The Father had no beginning. This is where there is a difference. The Father had no beginning. Has no ending. And Jesus has began with the Father. And at the end of the, His reign on this earth, the end of the thousand years, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, around verse 52 or so, he will give all things back to the Father, that we may be all in all. So you see the Father still has authority over Jesus. So it's positioned Father, Son, like this. Not Father, Son, but Father, Son. That's something we want to understand about God and His Son. This is what I'm driving at. Revelation 111, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Yes, He is the first, and He is the last. While we're there, we can go to uh, Revelation 3.14. And unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans, of the Laodiceans, write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, that's speaking of Jesus, the beginning of the creation of God. That's People try and go to the Greek and explain that away every different possible way they can. And if you just take it by itself and you go to the Greek, it does say beginning, meaning first, and it does say preeminent, meaning most important. And what they would like you to do is just believe it only means most important and that it doesn't mean first. Well, why would we, why would we argue that way? When it means both. It means both and preeminent. It means first and preeminent. And so the first thing that came forth from God before all the planets, before the sun, the moon, the sky, the heavens, the first thing that came forth from God was His Son. 